Okay, so uh, we're about to get this race underway. Ruben Butens, he begins his title defense here and now. It's heat five of the first round of heats. There he is, the uh, blue helmeted, or mostly blue and yellow helmeted driver in eighth place. And then the incredible Simon Cleaver behind. And following that is uh, Matt Barsh. And uh, while Ruben Butens has got a bit of a lead going over the line to begin the race, Simon Cleaver, can he convert this second place into maybe a race win or even set place. There's a bit of bumping and boring going on behind, but it is uh, Russell Endine who's got absolutely nailed. Russell Endine, we could arguably describe as the Slavic Piscorse of this uh, race, being a very tough competitor, but he's um, he's been in a battle with Luke Hornsby down there, Sean. Uh, not really the opening that he needed, but uh, as we complete the opening lap there, Ruben Bootens leading from the incredible Simon Cleaver and Matt Barsh already forming what looks like it could be a breakaway top three. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, and after the start, Simon's got back. But th th this is, um, it was, it was, a, it, was a, it showed Simon, uh, so Simon Cleaver's never really done anything like this at the start there because he wasn't nose to tail with Ruben. He left a gap. Uh, very polite of him, obviously. But um, actually, since the first lap, look at him reel him in. He's actually catching Ruben very quickly. And Matt Barsh has just been dropped. Absolutely. Ruben Bootens, a star of the international scene for so long now. He knows exactly how to make a start. And uh, we've got BRKC newcomer, uh, Simon Cleaver. You know, it's going to be a new game, but we've got someone in the pits. It's Russell Ending. Now, has Russell Ending pitted too early? Is this an early stop? No, I think that was the right move to make, because Ramon makes the move down into the snail on number 15, which is Adam Davis. So, oh, and Adam Davis has come back at him. They're now side by side, going around the final section. Adam Davis should have this. There's not enough grip out there for Ramon to hold on to it, surely. Well, uh, actually, he's come, he's come to the inside. How's he done that? Well, Ramon is now down the inside there. Um, it looked like uh, Ramon Pinero. He is a very gutsy driver. The Spaniard really on form at the moment. And, uh, well, go on, Sean. I think this has worked out absolutely wonderfully for, uh, for Russell Endine. Uh, as Luke Hornsby's now in the pits, first stop's pretty good. Comes and breaks and starts going again. That's a good stop. Where's he going to come out? Russell's jumped him. Now, Luke Hornsby was tucked up in that battle between Ramon and Adam Davis, and they backed out. So, actually, I think Russell's going to come out in a net fourth here after dropping to seventh on the first lap. Absolutely. We've seen Russell Ending uh, win races at BRKC level over the years. Uh, Luke Hornsby, um, actually a very formidable competitor, but uh, doesn't believe so. He's... Uh, he doesn't quite have that confidence, and um, Russell Endine has certainly come out on top of that battle, which is what he intended when he made his early pit stop. Luke Hornsby trying to also benefit from an early pit stop. Um, Sean, we've got some information from the organisers. Yeah, just briefly, guys, if you're actually interested in seeing your race back and arguing with your friends over who passed who and whether it was legal or not, the, the live stream in the briefing room is delayed by 25 minutes. So if you want to come up and have a look, jump in there, and then you can re-watch your own race. So uh, practically looking at the previous race, in effect, the uh, live stream is both live on uh, anybody's media here uh, at Formula Fast and also across the world. We know we've got quite a few views at the moment. We've got a cart in the pits at the moment. It is the number nine, Craig Tucker pitting. He's in about seventh place. He's going to be losing that, though, because Russell Endy and Luke Hornsby will be coming through and coming through fast. Uh, meantime, though, the epic Ruben Bootens a star of the international stage for so long now. Uh, very, uh, whoa, Matt Barsh in the pits. I was about to talk about Ruben Booth, but we're going to talk about Matt Barsh now because he's in the pits. He's desperately, well, oh gosh, he was pushing it on that green light there, Sean. That's about as close as you can get, but that's what's needed to win at this level. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And he's had a different strategy to most others so far. He doesn't actually come to a halt. Um, but, yeah, he is cutting it fine. I was just pointing out that he he's backed off because uh, Simon Cleaver seems to be on and off on hot laps. He's closing in on Ruben when he's nailing the lap. And then he starts to get a little bit wiggly. And actually, he backed out. He backed um, Matt Barsh uh, off into the final corner, which forced Matt into a pit stop. I'm not 100% sure he wanted to take that. And uh, interestingly, Sean, uh, behind them, yes, Matt Barsh has probably uh, taken the view that Cleaver showing speed, but something inexperienced. And he just doesn't want to be part of that, does he? Matt Barsh has got absolutely no interest in bumping and boring with Simon Cleaver. His target is the leader, Ruben Bootens. And uh, as we move towards the back straight, there's Bootens and there's Cleaver. Uh, but looking behind that, uh, Ramon Pinero, he's got his eye on those leaders and he's coming in fast. Yeah, um, 
the thing is that he did lose a lot of time. Sorry, Sean, I just want to cut in. We've got a current fastest lap by Simon Cleaver. Simon Cleaver is fast in this race. The BRKC newcomer is faster than the three times champion, the epic uh, driver that is Ruben Butens, and he's closing in on him. Could he make this a fight for the lead? We've never seen anyone take it to Ruben Butens like this before. Uh, no, um, this is, wow, you know what? I'm, I'm really excited about this one. <laughs> he's uh, coming around the final corner now. He actually looks a little bit closer than he was on the previous lap. As you come around here, this is the difference in style between Ruben and Simon Cleaver around the back corner, is that Simon Cleaver keep, keeps his foot down and steps the cart out, and that's losing him time, and it's losing him an overtaking opportunity into the snail. Yeah, and um, That's interesting, Sean, because this uh, the lead through into the final corner, after the final hairpin, then across the line through the S-bend, it's flat out all the way. But get the final hairpin wrong is an awful long time to be losing time. And uh, so what you're talking about is very interesting. Here we are into that section here. See Ruben's foot, see if he makes a lift. We can't quite see on the camera there, but this is the area we're talking about. Cleaver looking very secure uh, on that lap though, and he still is faster than uh, reigning champion Ruben Bootens. Oh, but Ruben Bootens has dipped into 32 seconds. As I speak about Simon Cleaver, Ruben Bootens stamps his authority on this race. He is now the fastest on the track. He's into the 32 second bracket, which is what we've seen the winners run at. Um, Simon Cleaver, we can expect that given he's on 33.003. Uh, we can expect to see him move into the 32 second bracket. However, one worth watching. Third place driver, Ramon Pinero. The Spaniard is uh, fully lit. The world championships are in Spain this year. Pinero trying desperately to get hold of an entry to that. Ruben again extends his lead with yet another fastest lap. I think uh, Ruben has seen Simon Cleaver. He's had enough of him already, and he's decided to pull the pin. Uh, Ruben Butens is desperately trying to increase his lead. Uh, where, are, where is he? There he's on the back straight. And he's visibly improved uh, the gap to Simon Cleaver. Uh, still, though, we've got uh, Ramon Pinero coming into picture now. And Pinero, he wants an entry into the World Championship. It's in his homeland of Spain. Uh, he may have to go for the uh, winning it in one of the national championships to get that entry. Uh, how do you rate his chances, Sean? Uh, well, Ramon last year, obviously, we, the incident we won't talk about too much. Uh, he was actually, <coughs> you know, he, he was leading that race. And not leading that race just, but he was leading that race by a good 10 seconds. He, it, there was no pressure on him whatsoever. Um, I think if he can somehow pick out a third from this, he has to speed up because it, uh, Matt Barsh is going to jump him. And uh, at this rate, Russell Endine will come out side by side with him, I think. Um, but Matt Barsh, those lap times, 33 flats, actually on the same pace as Cleaver. And Cleaver has managed to lose six tenths over the last two laps and is starting to drop off, whereas Barsh is being more consistent. I think if Simon's not careful, he's going to get jumped by Matt Barsh here. Actually, Sean, looking at the lap times, what it is, Ruben Booten, there he is on screen. You can see there's a visibly bigger gap to Simon Cleaver. It's as much as anything as actually Ruben pulling away than Simon uh, falling back um, because the gap to uh, Pinero is saying pretty much the same from his point of view. But Ruben Booten's a superb... Uh, oh, yes, here comes Pinero in the pits. Uh, Ramon Pinero pits out of third place. There he is down in the pit lane there. The young Spaniard, he's lost a position to Barsh. He may well lose more positions to Adam Davis and may well lose to Mandrew. Yes, he does. Pinero has dropped right down to sixth place. Obviously, he has a pit stop in hand now to those ahead. But going back to Ruben Butens, absolute supreme driving by Ruben. He um, man maintaining a lead. Simon Cleaver, he wasn't going to let him get too much in contention. And now he's decided to check out, I think, Ruben Butens. He's just up in the pace. It's only by a tenth, but at this level and around this track, that can have uh, have an effect, but um, Ramon Pinero has now dropped. Oh, sorry, with oh, a move into huge the lunge there. That was over Adam Davis. Um, where is Barsh? No, it's Tim Andrew. Tim Andrew, uh, Matt Barsh making a huge lunge to take fourth place uh, on merit. Barsh, we've seen in the pits. Tim Andrew has not the the only reason why Barsh needed to make that lunge was because he is physically quicker than Tim Andrew. Sean, he needed to get that done to put himself back in contention with the leaders. Yeah, well, I mean, they're not in the same race, really. Check the batteries. It says low batteries. 
OK, so Ruben Boutens increasing his lead over Simon Cleaver. He's uh, gone from being just a couple of car lengths to almost the length of the back straight ahead. Uh, Simon Cleaver crossing the line now, but that is not to uh, talk Simon down. It's an amazing performance from this driver, not someone we've seen before. And he's racing right up there at the front with the best in the world. Ruben Boutens coming out of the snail section to click off yet another lap. Still some way to go in this race. Very little doubt about who the winner is going to be. However, the interest is going to be with Matt Barsh. Can Matt Barsh, by dint of his pit stop, um, actually make up some ground? We saw him fight past Tim Andrew. Now he's clear. Tim Andrew is in the pits now and leaving the pits. So Tim Andrew has put himself back into his more relevant position. Are well, we up side by side up on the far end of the circuit there? Ruben Boots is uh, now down in 32 8. Sean, uh, they're running fast. Yeah, they are. And actually, Ruben's now backed up behind the two. So the first one will get out of the way and see the blue flag. I'm not sure the second one will. Absolutely. Matt Barsh, we're seeing on a 32-8 as well. Oh, and a huge fight down the back there as uh, Ruben Boutins fights his way through some back markers. We're looking at the 17 there, which is uh, Tim Andrew. And uh, we've got another cart there too. Um, Simon Cleaver, that will have helped, but Ruben Boutins is now ahead of those two. Uh, it really plays into Ruben's hands because he's got carts now between him and Cleaver. Let's be fair, not that Cleaver was going to have a go at him now that Ruben has really upped the pace. Matt Barsh, though, if we look at him, he is running almost the same lap time as Ruben Booten, and uh, he is absolutely doing his best to close in and make up some uh, ground on the race leader who is yet to pit. Yeah, well, Ruben doesn't tend to want to pit in the in the uh, in the early stages of any of the races, really. Uh, in, the, in the final last year, you saw he did both of his pit stops right at the end. He was happy enough going on. He's happy enough running his own race. He's never in threat. Um, and this, he, he's, if someone was going to have a shot at him before Ruben got happy with the car, it had to be early on. And unfortunately, after the start, he just wasn't pressuring him enough. Absolutely, we've seen Ruben Booten uh, win on pure pace. We've seen him win on strategy. We've seen him win actually in a straight fight. Uh, he is one of the best drivers in the world currently. He yet, he's yet to win the world championship though. That is one race that does elude him. One event that he is yet to win. Uh, we've seen him win here the last three races. He's going for four British con consecutive British championships here. He's not even British. He's from Holland. We had, we had uh, arguably we had Brexit to try and stop him. Uh, uh, so we voted Brexit. We still can't get rid of him. He's turned up. We're going to a run, and now he's leading the race. Um, he is showing why he will earn a fourth championship if he can take it. Oh, yeah, but I'm sure there's plenty of people along the line who are going to stop him from uh, trying to do that, <coughs> myself included. I'd like to have a crack at him. Lewis Manley, actually, is uh, the person who's most exci the most excited person I've ever seen to be drawn in the same heat as Ruben round here. He was relishing the challenge, and that's on the alternate circuit next round. Absolutely. And Lewis Manley, of course, is the kind of driver who uh, he, he's going to really relish a straight fight against Ruben. I, I think he can, he's going to be looking forward to uh, getting his hands on Ruben and seeing if he can uh, duff him up on the track. It's one thing winning races now, pointing people. Lewis, uh, we're going to have a little uh, word with you. Um, Ruben Booten, you're going to be facing him uh, in the next heat race. Um, how do you actually rate him and have you any ideas on how you're going to go and tackle him? Easy rate for me, 10 out of 10, because he's just pure class on this um, track, because as you point out, because he's won three titles in a row, he's going for his fourth. I'm just really looking forward to be facing him, and it's such a tough heat as well, because there's so many good drivers, because the three of us on the podium last year, we, were, we are all together, so this is going to be very exciting for sure. Absolutely, and we're seeing a battle down there. Oh, and a huge moment there. <coughs> it looked like Simon Cleaver may well have been the one to lose out. Uh, Simon Cleaver lost a, a lot of time there, our second place driver currently. Uh, he was in a fight and there was um, uh, Tom, uh, Tom Kazugal. Tom Kazugal uh, nearly took uh, Simon Cleaver out from second place. Tom Kazugal is running really, really fast. Simon Cleaver is um, not able to pull away and what a, what a huge uh, moment that was. We've got uh, Tim Andrew down there by the looks of things as well. Um, Ruben Booten continues on. Look at this battle here, uh, Lewis. What, what, do you, uh, what do you read into this one, the, these three cars? Oh, Simon, sorry, si sorry, Lewis. Simon Cleaver into the pits now. Now, this is crucial. He's pitting out of second place. What a first half of the race we've seen for him so far. Uh, Simon, will he be able to come ahead of Matt Barsh? No, Barsh has taken him. 
And Ramon Pinero is now all over the back of, uh, of Simon Cleaver. So Simon Cleaver's found himself bundled back to third place, probably because of all of that trouble down on the hairpin we've just seen, Lewis. Um, how do you feel about uh, Simon's performance and this unfortunate incident? He's battling with Ramon Pinero. He's lost to Ramon Pinero. There he is on screen, Pinero and, uh, and Simon Cleaver. He's going to be quite pretty annoyed with that contact down the straight because uh, I think, first of all, uh, he was being lapped because their 17 was a lap down and decided to have a punt to him. And uh, when he's had his pit stop, and he's just come out in third, but now he's down in fourth, so he's going to be really upset with himself. A great qualifying because he was only just 100 beyond Ruben, which he'll be very pleased about. But it was very close to top three, but uh, he's sort of dropping back and he's probably the pressure's getting to him a little bit, so he'll probably try and fight for third, but uh, it's probably going to be tough for him from here. Absolutely, and uh, there has actually been a warning given to the 17 and 20 carts, which includes Simon Cleaver for all that bumping and boring. Uh, the organisers do want to keep it clean. They understand that, uh, you know, you do get a few karting knocks now and again, but um, they don't want to see any uh, really daft stuff. One thing interesting, competing at this level, it's amazing how few accidents you actually see, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. It's so different from BRKC to when I do Fast Friday, because this is just high-level competition because it's worldwide, because top three get the free entrance, but it's just such an exciting competition to do, and it's just be good to be part of racing and to be part of it as well, so I'm just happy with it. Absolutely, Lewis. Um, of those other competitors that uh, you regularly see here uh, at Formula Fast, who do you rate who's in the BRKC this year? Who, who do we need to look out for from the, the, the very rapid locals? Well, certainly, we got to look out for Matthias Groom, because he's... World champion, but not a local. But uh, the local guys, I'd say uh, Simon Cleaver, because he's one of the locals. I'd say Richard Jute is a one to watch out because he looked pretty quick yesterday. Um, Richard Jute was amazingly quick yesterday, Lewis. He, uh, in uh, one practice session, he actually outpaced double world champion Matthias Gruten, uh, and uh, I think it was Tyler Mays and Dan Healy. It was it was a very uh, very incredible thing to see. Uh, we'll see him coming up later in the races, so he will be somebody you'll be keeping an eye on. And um, obviously, any time you outpace a double world champion, that's someone with some speed. Absolutely, yeah, because we are pretty we get on well in karting together because we have a good talk together and, and, and say what we're doing here and there and what how we're going through the corners but, uh, he's definitely learning very quickly especially in that qualifying qualifying second was no mean feat com with this sort of level and compared to Ruben and Matt Barsh being of top drivers but uh, in the race probably the pressure's got to him a little bit but okay I'm fortunate with the contact down the straight which has definitely compromised him slightly but uh, he'll still be reasonably satisfied with fourth but he'll probably want to be better than that Absolutely. So uh, Simon Cleaver is someone you also know, is that correct? Yeah, Yeah, that's and, right. And uh, tell, tell us a bit about Simon, because uh, obviously he's just thrown himself onto the international stage in, uh, in one heat race here. Yeah, because uh, we've been wishing each other luck in the BRKC and having good fun for Fast Friday. He's even beaten me in once in the session, and uh, he's, he is very fast, that's for sure. But uh, it's going to be so different compared to Fast Friday and this because it's so high level and uh, it could be very precious. Absolutely Lewis and um, with his success over the years uh, we we can almost start calling Ruben Bouton as a, a local can't we with three BRKC championship wins in succession he's going for four as we know he's leading this race and lap time wise he's on 32.7 which is some of the fastest uh, laps we've seen however Matt Barsh is running in second on a 32.8 which that's the kind of pace that could, him, could have won him one of the other races we've seen uh, so far. So um, Matt Barsh is certainly throwing down the gauntlet. Ramon Pinero in third. The incredible Simon Cleaver in fourth. Russell Ending, normally uh, a potential front runner, is, uh, is having to settle for fifth right now. We've got very little time left. Uh, I think we're going to see Ruben Boots is taking the flag anytime soon. Matt Barsh, a really strong performance by him, though, albeit uh, the best thing he can hope for is second place because uh, Ruben Booten has started his uh, title challenge uh, in winning style. He's going to take some stopping. You reckon you're the man to do it? Yeah, I think I can because I know I can do it because I proved last year I would only finish 3.3 behind him and I can prove that I can win this title because everyone knows I can do it and how much talent I've got here. So, but I'm, 
no surprise with Ruben starting the way as he is because he wants to defend his title for sure. But there's no surprise he's been pole and he's going to win this race quite comfortably. And Lewis, uh, obviously looking forward to the next heat when you're right, uh, fighting with uh, Ruben. We're going to get the checker flag uh, very soon. Um, but uh, when it comes to taking someone like uh, Ruben on, are you looking to do it from a strategy point of view? Will you, do you think you'll have to f uh, literally face him down in the straight fight on the track? What, what do you think will be the area, if you can beat him, how's it going to be? Strategy, racecraft, where's it going to come? Qualifying, maybe? Well, yeah, I was going to say, I've got to out-qualify him first to try and stay ahead of him. And if he he's right behind me throughout the race, all I've got to do is just do my usual defensive line and he won't overtake me. But it's not going to be easy if he's right behind me because... He's just so good at overtaking compared to what I am. So, but check, check, obviously, check and Vlad's coming out now, so Ruben's going to win this one comfortably. Absolutely, Lewis. Here comes Ruben Boutons to win the first or his first heat race of the 2017 British Rental Car Championship, and uh, the uh, that's a great uh, a great start for the reigning and three times consecutive. British champion. Uh, he really has, uh, has set the tone for the weekend from his point of view. We've been speaking, though, with uh, Lewis Manley, and uh, Lewis, he's going to be trying to take him down in the uh, in the next heat race where he faces um, Ruben Boutons in the next round of heat race. That'd be Matt Barsh. Matt Barsh, a great run to second, as we've already ascertained. The kind of pace that could have won one of the other heat races, but unfortunately, from his point of view, he was there with Ruben Booten. A great run to third place. There's Booten in the pit lane we can see now. Um, a great run to third place by the Spaniard, Ramon Pinero. Ramon Pinero um, taking a sort of little step back in racing for the past couple of years. He was racing in the FIA Formula 2 Car Racing Championship. Uh, he obviously has been a carter for many years, but he had taken a bit of a back seat. He's coming back into racing now, though, uh, the driver from Spain. He's opened it up with an incredible third place. Simon Cleaver. Outstanding showing from the uh, another Formula Fast regular, but absolutely great performance there uh, by Simon to qualify second, run second, really making Ruben have to up the pace there, Lewis. I think, and uh, we we can expect to see more from Simon as the event goes on. Absolutely, he has he's got fourth in his first heat. But he, he would have hoped for better, but he can settle down a little bit and hope for a little bit better from his next heat. Super. Well, thank you very much for joining us out uh, there, Lewis. Uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing you taking Ruben on in a head-to-head -head fight. Um, meanwhile, Brad Philpott we saw win earlier on, uh, ahead of you, actually, but forced you second place. Um, Brad, that was uh, that was quite a win there. We've uh, we've not. That's a bit of a. You're very good anyway, but that was a hell of a race, yeah. Well, I, I just thought I'd 